in radar remote sensing of the Earth's surface, one of the key places we see a big influence of changes due to dielectric constant changes is in soil moisture. Soil moisture influences the dielectric constant considerably. We see ranges in soil moisture across the Earth's surface from areas that are extremely dry or even hyper-arid where there's almost no liquid water content at all to areas which may be saturated with water and so the dielectric constant is extremely high. Because of that strong relationship between soil moisture and dielectric constant, we can use radar remote sensing to estimate variations in the soil moisture on the surface. When the soil gets wetter, the dielectric constant increases and therefore the scattering in microwave frequencies increases also. That close relationship between soil moisture influencing dielectric constant influencing the signal in the radar means that we can use radar systems to determine the soil moisture. Typically missions that are dedicated to looking at soil moisture will more often be in the L-band region. Shorter wavelengths are influenced too much by the vegetation above the soil and longer wavelengths have technical challenges in order to measure from space. L-band is then a good compromise that allows us to get some penetration through the vegetation to see the soil and is practically achievable from space. Another way that the dielectric constant can change considerably in soils is when the ground freezes. When the water in the soil freezes, the dielectric constant actually drops considerably. This can be used to map the freeze-thaw boundary across areas of the Arctic. One of the key challenges with measuring soil moisture is that the penetration depth changes as the soil dries out. If you're making measurements of soil moisture with radar, you're therefore potentially looking at different layers through the soil depending on how moist the soil is. One of the key things you have to be able to do in order to validate these measurements is make soil moisture measurements in situ. Typically the best way to do that is you take a sample of soil, you put it in a plastic bag and you take it back to the lab. You weigh it and then you dry it out and then you weigh it again. And that gives you a measure of how much water was contained within the soil. That's not a very quick or practical way. So there are other ways that you can measure soil moisture in situ. Typically TDR instruments, time domain reflectometry is one way to measure soil moisture. And that could be handheld units that you measure across a field individually, or it could be networks of sensors that are placed over a long time to measure the changes in soil moisture at high temporal resolution. Because there is a very strong relationship between soil moisture and dielectric constant, we can use that effect to measure the soil moisture variations with radar sensors. Essentially, as you increase the liquid water content in soil, the dielectric constant increases and then the backscatter increases. And you get a strong relationship between the amount of liquid water within the soil and how much backscatter you measure in the radar system. This is very dependent on wavelength and it's also dependent on the surface roughness of the soil that you're measuring. 